so we've seen the list of golden tickets. I mean, we know, we know who they are and I was doing my best last night, not to really like try to judge on like, eh, but I'm want to talk about which ones that I'm actually excited about. Cause it's not all of them. And it's, it's again, nothing against anyone, but for me, for the way I've, I want to play the game and try to win and try to have fun. Uh, I think these are going to be some of the potentially the best cards. So let's go take a look. And we, I mean, it could be wrong. Like uh, EA could throw us curveballs here, but before we see the stats, before we see how the abilities are built out on these cards, let's just, yes. If you're looking to build the best team in med, make sure you head over to MMOEXP.com to avoid the packs and save some racks. Use code CC for 5% off. Link is in the description below. Fastest coins, cheapest coins. Use code CC. We'll see you guys on the sticks. 5% off. Be great. Hey, what is going on, man? Family, we are talking golden tickets today. And these are going to be coming out over eight weeks, plus uh, some unknown amount of developer tickets as well. So keep that in mind. Uh, we won't know all the stats on them for, for, for maybe for a while, even. Uh, you, we, we'll probably start finding out stats uh, on Friday because. The creators are going to get their cards, so maybe we'll see the stats there. But if you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing. You can be like my guy, Doc Adams here, who is a brand new sub. Thank you so much for your support. I greatly appreciate it. And again, if you enjoy the video, drop a like on it because that is the whole point of the button. Uh, let's take a look here and see. So I, I'm not going to like rank rank them like one through 20 because that's too hard. Uh, instead, I'm going to talk about the ones that I feel like could be really, really good and the ones I'm actually excited to see. Uh, and willing to try out at this point sight unseen, right? So we have a lot of quarterbacks here. Okay. Now I know a lot of people have talked about Derek Carr, uh, having some potential there. Maybe I, but I just think when you compare them all, he's, he, he doesn't compare well, if you know what I mean. And then we go to RG three now. Super fast card. Statistically, the card's going to look great, but I'm pretty sure his release isn't great. If I'm wrong on that, hey, that's on me. So I'm not really overly looking forward to the card. Uh, just me personally. Now, James Morgan is a very interesting card here uh, where I'm going to have to try it. I'm going to have to try the card. You know, it's going to be well built, right? We know that it's, it's, this, the card is going to look really good. But we're going to have to try it out with the ability points. And then we get to Tannehill. Put him in the Derek Carr category. Not really excited about that card. But Taysom and Tebow. Okay. One of these cards could be the card, right? And that, I mean, you guys know me. I don't like the Saints at all, but Taysom, Taysom's card could be amazing. And I would be way more excited for what Taysom or Tebow could bring to the table if EA ever put the live playbooks back in the game uh, within Mutt so I could use the Patriots live playbook because it's a lot better for what I would want to do with those guys. But it is what it is. We might end up having to switch playbooks if we use one of these two quarterbacks. So to me, uh, Morgan, Tebow, and Taysom at quarterback, super interested to see. Like really interested to see them, right? The others, not so much. The two running backs, Zeke and Benny Snell, I don't care for at all. Um, maybe they look great, maybe, but the running back dime a dozen legitimately uh, within the game. So I'm not going to worry about them. And then the safeties, Delpit and DK. Both cards have all this potential in the world. We need to see how they get built out. How much, how, how much, how much their block shed. I believe they're both six, three. So they have potential, uh, to, to be out on the field legitimately. And with us, Kevin, them, and if we get other upgrades to safety, if we ever get like a new free safety, Calvin, a uh, new Taylor Mays, a new Pat Watkins, uh, Sean Taylor, stuff like that. We may eventually just go away from corner completely and just rock a bunch of safeties uh potentially so those two i'm looking forward to so five cards on the first life five out of the ten that's okay right ha half the cards i'm interested in obviously i wouldn't have all five of these cards uh at most it would be three one of the quarterbacks uh and then potentially both safeties so i like i, I like what we have here it's not perfect it's not if, if i was designing the perfect gold digger program it's not what it would be but nonetheless I, we're going to have to try the quarterbacks, see if we can live with their releases, how their stats are, how's their ability point makeup going to be. Like it's that's, that's, I mean, the quarterback and the ability points is the most important part of the entire program. Let's be honest here. So that being said, uh, 
The other five, meh, meh, don't really care too much about. We go to the second slide here, and we got receivers. A.J. Brown, Jalen Rieger, Brandon Ayuk. Again, nothing against these cards. I think they're going to be very good cards. But for me, they're probably not going to be cards I make. Uh, make my team. A.J. Brown has the highest chance of making a card on my team. The highest chance. We'll see how that card looks. He has the highest chance by far of the three. But on my main team, I think I can easily say none of them. None of them will make the team. Cornerbacks. Three cornerbacks. Mike Evans. Big. Ball's corner in the game. Jim Thorpe. More of a physical corner in the game, too. Good size on him. Jimmy Smith. Similar to Thorpe. I need to see how these cards are built as well. What I want at my corners uh, for golden tickets is big and physical. That is, that's one thing that you just don't normally get here. Uh, Mike Evans has got the big. Where's the physical going to lie? All right. So I can't blindly sit here and say, I want any of these three cards. When I see them, hey, you know what? I'll make a choice. And you guys will make the choice as well on them. But off the rip, I don't think that these are cards that I'm necessarily going to want, uh, especially if we start getting more and more safeties and upgrades in the game. Mike Evans, I think, is the highest chance uh, of the three for me. But it is what it is. Uh, we go to linebacker Derek Roberson, Zadarius Smith. Very interesting cards here. And the reason they're very interesting is Roberson is coming off of a silver card, okay? So we have no idea how EA is going to bring this card up. You can't say, oh, I don't want it, because we don't know. He could be a 95 speed stock card. Put Sprinter on when he goes 97 or something along those lines, right? It could happen. Interested in seeing what that card looks like. Same thing with Zadari Smith, especially because he just got his limited today. Is EA going to boost and upgrade that card? Is the question. I don't know. I, I mean, I would hope that's what they do. Same thing what they would do with Ayuk and same thing with Zeke, who just recently got upgraded as well. So that Zedaria Smith card, the limited that came out today, it looks like a very solid card. With some really good boosts on him, and if they make him, could be the, one of the best pass rushing linebackers in the game. Both of those cards, really, really interested to see what they do. Really interested. Not worried about abilities. And then we get to Robert Woods at tight end. Now, again, this is a card I brought up as a really good potential golden ticket candidate. And someone did do it. Now, I don't know if they did it because of me or they did it because uh, of themselves. However it is. Uh, but this is another card where I feel like has a ton of potential. Now, the one downside to him being at tight end is that he can't air truck. So that's obviously a bit of a problem for some people. Uh, but what I'm expecting is like a 99 speed tight end here with good route running and his run block should be 90. Now, again, he's not going to have the strength. He's not going to have impact block and some of that stuff that, that would be missing to make him totally a dominant force. But for someone who loves using tight ends in the game, I want to see this card. I'm super, I'm, I'm really, out of all the cards on here that I'm not sure that I want on this page, Robert Woods is the one that I'm most excited to see. What do they do with him, right? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? But then if we get to the last one, um, and out of all the gold tickets, he is the only sure thing to try and make everyone's team, and it is a Montez Sweat. This card is going to be absolutely bonkers bananas whatever you want to call it this card is going to be amazing he has got to be the 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 number one the clear-cut favorite the clear-cut most exciting card now the quarterbacks will be more useful and have more value for sure but we're talking about a 99 speed defensive end here what more do you want I don't know what, what more do you want. If this card came out and you saw it, you'd be like, wow, his other card that came out blew everyone away. And if you played against that Montez Sweat card, he played so much better than you thought he would too. So Montez Sweat is definitely the guy, in my opinion, 
uh, and the one I'm looking forward to most. Uh, my one clear cut will pick up 100% chance. Now again, the fact that we have 20 and there's only one that I'm saying I have to get this card. It's interesting. Now I think out of the full 20, I could see myself picking up five to six probably for my main team. That's what I'm thinking. And if we got that, that's pretty good. Now last year we had, we had 19. We basically got them all. I know we missed a few because of the quarterback duplicates and all that. But uh, I think that's probably the way it's going to go this year, unless these cards end up blowing me away. But just with the way that overalls uh, and the stats on these cards have been this year, it's going to be really hard to, to compete with, with some, some, some cards that already exist and some cards that will futurely come out too. So let me know what you guys think. I want to know what is the one golden ticket that is coming out that you must add to your team. I look forward to seeing it. And we'll catch you guys next time. I'm out. Peace.